In the last lesson, we have seen how to find out the different file locations inside the database when you are connected to SQL Plus. Now, we also know that inside database, there are something called as table spaces. So what is a table space? If a user tries to store some data or create a table, the table will be stored inside a table space. If you want to relate this concept, for example, in Windows, when you store something, it is always stored in some drive. It will be like your C drive, D drive, or some other drive, right? Directly, hard disk is not allocated to your files or whatever you want to store. You store it on a drive, drive is mapped to your hard disk. The same way, in database also, whenever you try to store anything, it is stored inside a table space, then table space is mapped to the physical data files. The next question is, how can I find out the different table spaces available in my database? The simple query, select name from v$ table space, will give you the list of table spaces inside your database. Let us run this query. Select name from v$ table space. We can see that there are different table spaces. System, which has all the base tables. Sysox is nothing but friend of system table space, where the reporting views will reside. Undo TBS1, this is undo table space, which is used to store previous images of the data. Users table space, it is a table space which is allocated for all the user data. Then we have temp table space where all the temporary transactions are executed. For example, if you query a very big table where it tries to sort the data, then it will use the temporary area where it will keep the table, sort the data, and then give the output. And this example is just created while we try to install the Oracle because we have checked the option sample schemas. And because of sample schemas, we get this example table space. This users and examples are something which can be used by any user in order to store the data but you cannot use them directly until you have permissions to store data into it. Also, looking back our concept of logical structures, we know that there are four default table spaces inside any database when you create. One is system, next is sysox, then we have undo and temp. These four are mandatory. You will always see these four in every database. The first query that we ran, it was from a dynamic performance view, v$ table space. We also have a data dictionary view that is db underscore table spaces. It will give you the same output, select table space name. The column name is a little bit different. Select table space name from db underscore table spaces. Run this query. See, we have the same output, system sysox. Now, the next question is, we have seen the different data files inside the database. We know how to find out the table spaces inside the database. But now, I want to find out which table space is mapped to which data file. It's a logical question, right? Because sometimes you need to figure out which data file belongs to which table space, because in real time, you just don't have single table space and single data file. You might have like 20, 30 table spaces and each table space further consists of 50, 60 data files. Might happen. There must be a way that you can find out the relation between a table space and a data file. Now our next goal is to find out which data file belongs to which table space. This query, select table space name, I am getting the name of the table space. The file name, it is nothing but the data file name. We have a column called as bytes. I am dividing the bytes column by 1024 by 1024. It means bytes by 1024 will be KB. Again, if you divide KB by 1024, it will become MB. Eventually, we are getting the file name with size in MB. If you want a size in GB, 
again you can divide with 1024 but we'll go with MB and then we are querying the data dictionary view DBA underscore and the view name is DB underscore data files and then we are giving a condition where table space name equal to whenever you see this kind of format that is ampersand this is known as ampersand and some name it means this query will take the input when you execute the query let me first execute this query and show you guys let's take I run this query enter now the query is asking you the value of table space which it will put it over here and then the query will be executed now I want to know the data file which is associated with system table space so give the table space name as system and hit enter see we have the output table space name a system the file name this is the file name and the size is 750 MB sometimes the output is not good or you don't feel like reading the output in such cases you you can even adjust the output of a query you can give this set lines triple nine and then try to run it again every time you run this query you will have to give the input value system enter and we see that file name column is very big so you can reduce the size of a column also column file underscore name for a 50 and then I will rerun the query if you give a slash it will rerun the old query in the memory so I am rerunning the same query and now the output looks good it is a one line the table space name is system the file name is this is the data file at OS level and the size of this data file is 750 MB now why would you need these details sometimes you want to increase the size of a data file then you would need to know what is the current size of the data file and where the data file resides all these details will help you in real time right now we'll try to rerun this query and check the data file of some other table space let us get the data file for undo table space enter and we can see that table space name is undo this is the data file and the size is 50 MB the next query that we have it will give us the details of temporary files or the temp files remember temp table space is different than the normal table spaces all the temp data files reside under DBA temp files in our earlier query we queried DBA data files where we got the data files which are related to normal table spaces but for a temp table space the data files related to temp table space will reside under DBA temp files let us run this query select file name the name of the file what is the size in MB and then querying the DBA temp files we'll execute this one enter this is the file name we can see that this is the location and the file name is temp01.dbf the size is 20 MB great guys so in this lab we learned about how to find the data files which are associated to different table spaces inside database we have also seen the query to find out the table spaces inside the database these queries will help you in real time to figure out which data file belongs to which table space and how many table spaces are there in your database.